G'day guys, it's Matt again from MB Mowing. Today we're going to be shooting a couple of videos and putting them on there. And basically it's going to be like uh, right on lawn mowing, we're going to be doing push mowing, lawn mowing, we're going to be using the whipper snipper or the trimmer, whatever on the case may be. Um, basically we're just going to do a lot of tips more than anything else. Hedging tips, um, lawn mowing tips about how to keep the grass growing and how you can get the best looking lawn in the street. Stay tuned, I'll show you how. Okay guys, as you can see in this one, this lawn, I'm cutting it nice and high, so it's only been about six centimeters high. This is what you need to do. This will make the lawn nice and lush and green and grow all the time. Now, the, the ideal part about this is that because it's nice and long, or it's not so long, you know, you cut it at the right height, um, it promotes shade for the soil so that it doesn't burn. Okay guys, now here, as you can see, now unfortunately this client likes to have her lawn cut nice and short. Now the problem is, you get weeds, that's the problem. I mean it's nice and green and everything else, but the problem is, you get lots of this, lots of it, lots of it. Now the reason being because of that is because it's nice and too short. Now, if it's too short, not only does the lawn get burnt a bit, but the, lawn, the weeds can get in there and germinate because they've got sun, they've got water, they've got everything. So they can grow nuts. Whereas if the grass is longer, it shades the grass, it shades the soil, it shades everything else. And the weeds don't get a chance to grow, if you know what I mean. Mow it nice and high, five to six centimetres. And this is how you get it green. Water it. There's no rain, just put your sprinkler on. Put the sprinkler on for one inch. So in other words, what you do, you get a cup, you put a cup in the ground, and when the cup is full, that's one inch, well that's one cup full of uh, water. That's what you need. And do that probably every second day. And do that throughout summer. And every time it just grows a little bit, like, you know, like a centimetre or something like that, you mow it. Uh, if you can, try not to mulch, uh, unless you've got a proper mulching mower. Uh, dedicated mulching mower are very expensive, but they're all worth it. And what they do, they cut the grass clippings up really fine, and um, they blow them straight back down into the soil underneath, right underneath, into there. So what it does, clips the grass, clip, 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 down, because it goes up and it rotates and it clips again, cuts again, cuts again. That's what happens and it comes down really fine. And when it's really fine, it falls down right between all the grass blades. Probably see in there, where is it? You probably see in there, it looks dead, it's not. But that is healthy. That's how it should be. All right, guys, so that's just another little tip on how to keep it all nice and green. The other thing is too, what you can do, fertilizer is a must. Obviously during summer is the best time. Um, you fertilize it probably once every six months. Um, high nitrogen is, is an ideal one. Uh, slow release is the best. The slow release, um, it takes its time, it doesn't ruin the grass, it takes its time and it's non nice and healthy.
Okay guys, here's a hedge trimming uh, tip. Now, looking at this hedge here. Oops, falling over stuff here, left, right and center here. Okay, so basically, how to get a straight edge on the hedge. Okay, so basically what we do when you use a hedge, a hedge trimmer, um, the rule of thumb is, is that you go from the bottom and you cut up because they all fall over like this, okay? So it's, it's basically the same thing with all hedges. You're supposed to go from the bottom up because if you go from the top down, a lot of times that happens. You miss it and bits stick out. What do I do? Um, I do a bit of both up and down. So basically, if I'm hedging, little pieces at a time, little pieces up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and then get further in as you go. That way you get little tiny pieces that break off and they fall down. And it's very much like mulching a lawn with a, a mulching mower, whereas, the small part, small pieces of grass, which gets finally all cut up in the mulching thing with the mower, and that gets forced into the ground. Same thing with this, same principle. If you cut it finely, it all goes down to the ground. That's the first benefit of doing it this way. The second benefit is you get a nice straight edge because you're gradually going backwards, back, 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 back to get that line. And you can correct it as you go. Because, you know, you get to a stage here where you, you, you're going along, going along, going along, and you think, oh, hang on, that's a little bit too thick there. I'll go back and I'll fix that up. Whereas if you just go straight into it and start cutting straight into the thick part, you've got these big pieces that are falling on the ground. You've got to go and pick all that up, and it's no longer, it's, it's going to be any mulch. It's just going to look dead on the ground, and it's just going to look terrible. Um, so even if you, you do cut it like that, really thick, really hard, what happens is that you can misguide the hedger and you'll end up with uneven straight edge. You know what I mean? It'll be like that or like that. You know, you might cut in. You might, as you come up, you might come up on an angle and cut like that. So that's what I'm trying to say here is that you do it finely, keep on going along that line until you get it nice and straight and you move to the next section, you do the same thing that's the best way of doing a hedge. And a lot of people ask me, how do you get that straight edge? Obviously, this is not, the, <laughs> this is not a good example at the moment because it does need a, a trim. But basically, that's how it's done. It's trim, 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 backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, keeping going and going and going until you get to that level that you want it. And the other benefit of what I do, I use a hedge trimmer on a pole. Um, the good thing about that is that you can get a distance away and you can, you can guide it from a distance like that. You can really see how you're going. Whereas if you've got a handheld one, a small one, it's going like this, this, and this, and this. And then you go back and you go, oh, I'm gonna have to go back, I have to get the top, I have to get the top. You know, so, and it's not so even. So at least with the long one, you can go all the way down, all the way up like that in one big sweep and do the whole lot so anyway guys i hope that's a good enough example of an instruction of how to get a hedge straight um obviously that goes for the top as well same thing start really high keep them going down 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 and the benefit of it at the top as well the smaller the bits and pieces are it just falls down like that through the hedge and that becomes mulch so there we go guys, bit of a hedge tip. You hey guys, that's it from me today. Look at my hair, crazy. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully some of those tips can help you out, get the best lawn in the street. Uh, remember, fertilizing and water, they need to grow and don't cut it too short. Make sure it's nice and, you know, five, six centimeters high and it'll grow and it'll green up and it'll be perfect. Once every six months, do some fertilizing. Make sure it's a slow release fertilizer. Um, can't stress any more about that. A slow release fertilizer is the best way to go because if it's a quick, quick fertilizer, you know, quick results and stuff like that, it can kill the lawn, can damage the lawn 
for a long period of time further on down the track. But anyway, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe and shoot me a comment if you want. No problems at all. I'll, I don't take offence to anything. Um, good or bad, doesn't matter. And um, the other thing is too, if you want, even in the comments, um, request something. If you want me to do a product review on one of the machines or whatever I'm, case, whatever I'm, whatever I'm using, or um, how to do a certain thing, like how to mail a lawn, how to hedge, whatever it is, all those type of tips, yep, I'm pretty sure if I can, I'll try and help out and so. Above all, let's keep this network going, guys, especially on YouTube. We can all help each other out. Cheers.